Crafts that make kids smile. <laughs> Duct tape bracelets. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making some duct tape bracelets. They're very simple to make and the nice part about them is they are waterproof so you could actually wear them to the pool, to the beach, you can make these on a vacation trip um, with family or with friends. Um, they're pretty easy to make as long as you have some duct tape around. Um, I made one with some solid colors which you can see um, it is like a tan and then a bronze color and black. Um, and then I made one with one colored rainbow um, duct tape, which is one you have seen here. This one is at Michael's. Um, they have lots of different um, designs that you can use, but why I showed you two different ones is this is one that has a design on it that you can keep the same, and this one is just all solid, and you can do three actual separate colors, which is what I have here to show you the three colors that I used. And those actually were all um, bought at either Home Depot or Lowe's or Michael's. You can get solid colors anywhere. So this is how they're made. Um, just with the duct tape, that's all you need. And you need scissors and some type of a measuring tape and then the duct tape itself. Um, to give you some measurements, my wrist is six inches around. And how I measured that was just with a measuring tape around my wrist. And if you see there, it is about six inches um, for my wrist. So when I made that one, um, you'll have to measure, measure your wrist ahead of time. That one allows me to slide it on with a little bit of struggle, but enough that you can stretch it. So there has some room in there for you to be able to wear it so it doesn't fall off your wrist and um, these are made or at least starting to be made if you have a six inch wrist you start with your long tape at 12 inches which is the size of a ruler so I already cut some tape ahead of time and you'll make three of these um, I had cut two already just to show you um, so those are the 12 inch about and this is if you have a six inch wrist 12 inches would be good for the tape if you have a seven inch wrist then you would probably do 14 inches and so on just keep adding two inches each time so here is how you make it with the one with like the design tape this one is the rainbow color what I did here is I cut 12 inches um, on my measuring tape I put 12 inches here and then I laid the tape out and then what I ended up doing was cutting about 12 inches. If it's a little more, it's fine. We can always cut off the ends later. So it's better to give a little more than um, at the end than to not have enough. Sometimes the scissors do get stuck. That's totally fine. That's just how it works. But because it's duct tape, it's so sticky. So once you have your three pieces cut that are 12 inches, if your wrists are six inches, again, if your wrists are seven inches, you would do 14. If your wrists are um, eight inches, then you would do 16 and so forth and keep adding on. So you have your three um, duct tape pieces. What you need to do here is fold this kind of to the center um, like I showed you here and then you'll fold the other piece um, right to the edge of where you did the other one maybe overlapping just a tad um, and then you just uh, pinch it down I guess tape it down so then you have one piece that looks just like this so then when I did it again what I did is I tried to make it a little bit bigger um, so I made it kind of go halfway just to get some of the different colors. Um, again, you can play around with it and do what you want just to kind of mix that up. So I kind of had those these colors here. See how they're, um, uh, they have the blue and the green and then the blue, green, and yellow. So what I would do here is make this one a red. Um, so then I'd have some of the rainbow colors mixed in and it would be similar to what it looks like on here. Um, so that's sort of how it goes. Those are my um, three pieces. And again, they're just folded in half or in thirds, depending on what you do. When you make a uh, one that is actually of solid color, what you would do in this case 
is very simple, just like the other ones, except when you make the solid color, you would fold it like this. You would go to the center and then push down and then you would fold it to the center again and then you would push this down and you would do that for the tan you would do that for the bronze and you would do that for the black but because this was more of a rainbow color I decided to kind of mix it up so I got all those rainbows in so that's how you would do it for the solid colors and then what you do is you take your three strips and then you just put them on top of one another in the colors combinations that you would like and then you're going to get um, a piece of duct tape. You can cut a little bit of a bigger piece just to kind of hold it down. Um, you'll see sometimes, like I told you, the, the scissors get stuck on the duct tape often, and that's okay. Um, sometimes you can even rip it, but um, the scissors usually cut pretty cleanly for the most part. So what you're going to do is you're going to tape this down, preferably it's near the end, but you can actually just do it on the table. And then what you do here is start, I'm gonna back it up a little bit for the video. Um, what you need to do here is do some braiding. And if you don't know how to do braiding, um, you can kind of, uh, let me put that more towards the middle. You can um, just listen to how I'm doing it and then what you do is just overlap so looks if that pulls out like it's doing here, it just means you need to retape it again and make sure it's pretty secure. If you have some kind of a clamp, that would work um, well too. You can clamp, clamp the actual um, duct tape down, which would maybe make it a little easier, but a lot of times kids, when they're watching these videos, don't have a clamp, so I'm trying to make it easier for you to be able to show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is start with a braid. So you'll pull which one fits best. That one looks like it's going over better, the green and the blue. So this one here, so that pulls over there, and then the next one you're going to pull over. Then the next one you're going to pull over, and at first it gets a little bit tricky because it's hard to get this duct tape to maneuver. So what you'll do is still continue to pull. It does make itself look easier as you do it. See how it's starting to form into the braid as you pull it a little bit. And if you need to push this down to hold it, that's fine too. And all you do is continue to braid and overlap each piece, just like I'm showing you here. So then this one goes over, then you pull a little tight, and then this one over here goes over and you pull it tight and then the one on the right pulls over and then the one on the left and you just keep continuing this pattern until you are completely done with the braid. Okay, and at this point, you are at the end, your braid is here, and you don't have much to use here. So this is where we're going to stop. And then what I did is I took a piece of duct tape um, that's a little bit smaller size than that. And then this is how you're going to wrap your end. And you're just going to put a piece down, and then you're going to wrap it around. And then that will hold that braid together just like that. So then you're gonna do the same thing with this piece, except you're gonna to have to probably braid a little more, but sometimes you have to braid backwards um, at the top, meaning like going the opposite direction if you need more. It depends on how big your wrist is. So here you wanna to get to the end and see that's there, and they do stretch as you can see. And then I'm going to get that other piece of tape, very similar to the one I just did, and here is where you're going to do the same thing. Tape this off. And then you need your scissors to trim it up a little bit. And you're going to cut the end. And then you're going to cut the end here. And then you have your braided bracelet with two ends, and you can see there is some stretch in there. And then this is your bracelet. So how you're going to do, now you're at the point where you're like, now what, I wanna be able to attach it. So now that you have this finished, you're going to get one more piece of duct tape and this was cut just from here. It's um, about two to three inches long. Um, and then how you do this is you put your 
um, bracelet together just like this and then you're going to put this over top and then you will wrap one side and then you wrap the other side until you have that connected and then you have your bracelet ready to share and or to give to a friend or to sell. You can do this in lots of different ways. And then, like I said, I have six inch uh, sized wrists and this was 12 inches to start. And it's a perfect little bracelet to be able to share with a friend um, or to make for someone for a birthday present or even to sell if you were doing that. So this is just a fun little thing to do. Um, again, this is with the rainbow tape. Um, I also made this one with just the solid colored tapes that I have here. Um, I tried to make it where I'd show you what the solid would look like. So you can do it lots of different ways. Um, it's very fun to make these um, when you're with your uh, groups and families and bunches of friends, maybe at a sleepover or a birthday party. But um, the best part is they're waterproof because duct tape usually um, allows you to uh, get it wet and it's fun to be able to wear it to the pool or wear it somewhere that you will get it wet even if you're at an amusement park and you're in a water park. You can also make them a little bit bigger and make them for a uh, anklet too. So enjoy this video and I hope that you will be the reason someone smiles today. Thanks so much for watching. Crafts that make kids smile.